Hello YouTube, this is your boy Damian Cryer and I hope this day finds each and every one of you in the best of health. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the um, hot one chip challenge vlog that we did recently. Um, Darian and myself have since recovered from that. Um, so <laughs> I gotta tell you guys that's definitely a challenge that I will not do again. Um, next weekend, I will not have Darian with me. That's going to be a week that I'm going to actually just kind of roll solo next week because that's the week that my divorce is final. Uh, and I kind of just want to just chill by myself at that time. Yeah, it's kind of a long story. First marriage, first divorce. So it's not as easy as people think it is. Um, so I'm going to be dealing with that this weekend, guys. Okay, guys, gotta excuse me. I had a knock at the door. That was my cousin. Stopped by here for a second. Uh, anyway, guys, um, as I was saying, this is the week that everything is final in my situation. Um, it's not always easy when you're dealing with something like that because you guys know my story already. So this is not a sad vlog. This is actually a cooking vlog. Um, but just real quick, one thing about Damien Cryer is I don't believe in abortion and I don't believe in divorce. Um, I don't believe in taking a life um, because of our irresponsibilityness. Um, you know, as far as abortion, people have abortions because they don't want a child, but yet at the same time, that's us being irresponsible. Uh, if we didn't want a child, then we should have protected ourselves. So therefore, I don't think that a child is a mistake. I know some people are not going to feel the same way about this, but that's how I feel. Um, I feel that if you don't want a child, you either keep them closed, keep it in your pants, or use, or lose, or use protection. Because a child is not a mistake. I don't believe in divorce because when two people get together and get married and take vows under God, you know, that's something very sacred. It's something that's, you know, that's for life. That's why I chose to wait until I was in my late 30s before I got married. And now I'm in my late 40s and I'm getting divorced. Um, so, you know, that's something that I wanted to do just one time and one time only. So, uh, so that's what's going on with me this week. Um, again, it's, it's not easy. It's going to be a little bit, you know, weird for me. Um, but so that's what's going on anyway guys today i am going to be i'm doing something i've been doing in a while i am going to do a short cooking vlog it won't be that long but i am going to be frying some chicken drumsticks mixed vegetables and i don't really know what else side i'm going to use so i have a couple seasonings yes they're the generic brand my opinion i don't really think it matters if you use generic brands or name brand because to me it's all the same a spice is a spice so anyway here is the little guys right here at the sink i have one two three four and five i have this onion powder seasoning that i like to use let me zoom on that i know everybody has their way of frying chicken but you know this is my way of frying chicken i like the onion powder seasoning then i'm going to use this meat Ooh, is it that zone, guys? Sorry for the blurness. This is a uh, meat tenderizer that I'm also going to be using to season these little fellas right here. And yes, they're in my sink. That way, any extra water can drain off and do not drain into my grease. And over here, I have the mixed vegetables on the stove. And, you know, I bought those in a bag, so those shouldn't be too long to cook. As you guys know, I am a vegetable man. And I have my pot ready for my grease to pour in. Actually, I just washed this pot out, so there's water actually still in this pot. So I don't actually want to pour any grease in there until that water cooks off there. Because anybody knows, if you know anything about cooking, putting grease in a pan that has water in it could be catastrophic. And whether it's at home or whether it's in the workplace or at a restaurant. Because pouring that just a small drop of water into grease the reason why i say that that, that 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 can be catastrophic is because grease has a tendency of popping and you can be pouring your grease in there or walking up to it to, to put meat in it and that grease is popping and that water pops in your eye and then you got a serious problem that ends your cooking 
cooking vlog or it ends your cooking because you're going to be in that restroom rinsing that eye out or at the doctor getting out what they call an eye irrigation flushing all that grease out of your eyes and out of your pupils um the oil that i'm going to be using today this is the um the pure blend oil Let's zoom in on that the pure blend oil i'm going to start off with fresh uh grease because the last one i did had fish grease in it um and the reason i choose the blended the pure blend oil because when you buy oil, we, we, you know, we know that cooking oils are very expensive, but I choose the pure blend because a lot of the other Crisco oils, you know, they're more expensive, but they have a tendency of being violent oil. And what I mean by violent is some of those oils just pop really, really bad. And when you, you know, and I don't like using those type of oils. So we're going to be using this one. So I'm going to set this camera down, guys, while I pour this grease into this pan. And so guys, this is what my chicken looks like once I get it seasoned. Like I said, um, zoom in on that a little bit. Got the little, I put the, uh, I actually added a little bit lemon pepper, uh, I'm sorry, a little bit lemon pepper seasoning to those, which I didn't show you guys the container, but it's just regular basic lemon pepper. So I put the onion powder seasoning on it. I put the meat tenderizer seasoning, little seasoning salt, a little bit black pepper, and as you guys see, I did use half, let me set this down guys, I used half of this uh, pure blended oil. I actually used a half a container of that, because um, chicken drumsticks tend to be kind of thick, um, so I wanted to make sure I got, when I put the, uh, the, uh, the chicken in the grease that at least half of the chicken is covered so it cooks evenly all the way around and I have my mixed vegetables right here so I'm gonna zoom back out so I can turn this back on me um anyway guys um I like eating chicken wings um and normally that's what I'm frying chicken wings if you look back at my past vlogs I like to fry chicken wings but today I'm actually doing the chicken drumsticks some people call them chicken legs. I think the proper pronunciation for them is chicken drumsticks. So I'm going to cook those tonight. Um, and I know you're probably like, why is he cooking so much chicken if it's just him? Well, I got one, two, three, four, five. I can actually eat two or three pieces tonight for dinner. And tomorrow I actually have lunch tomorrow. So double whammy, I can make chicken tonight. And I know that sounds pretty boring. You're eating the same thing for lunch that you eat for dinner. Why not? It's still cheaper than going to work and spending money in the vending machine, buying snacks and stuff that's going to cost you between three and six dollars a day. And if you add that up, that's a lot of money. That's like 35, 40 bucks a week. So why not just make dinner the day before and take leftovers to work? And I'm sure that that's something that's normal. I'm sure don't everybody get up every day and decide to make something fresh for work to take to work it's easier to just make it the night before like for instance once i get done with this cooking vlog right here um for dinner i'm actually yes i'm actually going to make a small cooking vlog with tonight tonight for breakfast tomorrow to show you guys what i'm doing um and what i'm making for breakfast that way not only do i have lunch tomorrow i have breakfast as well um i'm not a really big breakfast person and it's not that i'm trying to gain the weight back that i've recently lost over the last few months but i want to start eating um because they always say the most important meal of the day is breakfast um so we're going to do that um so i hear the grease over here popping oh wow camera just happened to go to my refrigerator also guys i got these little snacks i bought for work too little donut sticks and I got these little pie thingies right here something for like if I get up running kind of behind I can just grab something really quick to make and um, uh oh that grease is starting to pop okay so we better be getting this chicken in the seasoning and see if we can get it for all right so I have the chicken in the grease guys Mmm, that is going to be so good. Oh my god. You know what I forgot? The hot sauce. I don't have any hot sauce. I made Darion some fish last night and 
we end up using the last of the little hot sauce that we had. Actually, he used the last of the hot sauce. That boy, he does not like his um, hot sauce on his food. He likes it on the side. Um, I don't know if that's normal or not, but that's the way he likes it. I never question Darion when it comes to why he puts hot sauce on the side. If any of you guys have kids who do that, where y'all don't want the sauce on the food, y'all want it on the sides. I know Italians are like that, and I know that for a fact because when I was in Italy, Italians, no matter where you eat, by the way, they have some very good food, and they have some very, very delicious wine. If you ever go to Italy, try their wine. It is the best. That's why those people drink wine with every meal. I mean, breakfast, lunch, breakfast, and dinner. I'm sorry, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I drink wine, but not with breakfast. I actually drink it maybe once or twice a week. And it's normally during a vlog. I'll call it sweet tea, but you guys know what it is. Anyway, so is it really normal for most people to put their sauces on the side of their food as opposed to putting it on their food? Do you have kids who actually prefer to have their hot sauce or their barbecue sauce on the side instead of on top? Me, I prefer mine on top because it just tastes better. It seemed like too much work to have to put it on the side and have to mix it together when you're ready to eat it. But oh, that chicken sounds good. Guys, that stuff is going over here. It is going. Oh yeah, it's going, it's going. Yep, it's going. It's been in for about four minutes and about another three minutes, I'm gonna actually go ahead and turn it over. Um, so that's gonna be the old solo meal tonight for Damien. And I think for breakfast, wow, Darian got me good. I bought two containers of these puddings right here. This is one of my favorite puddings. I like that chocolate blended pudding. He done ate, I had like two or three containers. That boy ate like four of these when he was here last night. So at least I got one for, one for work tomorrow. Anyway guys, so we're gonna get back to this chicken and check it out and see what's going on. Guys, the end of the cooking vlog is starting to come to an end. You can always tell when chicken is about done because it starts having like, you know, it's kind of loud when you first put it in the cooker and starts cooking it or put it in the frying pan. It starts making a very distinctive sound when it's just about done. But I turned the chicken over a little while ago and it's just about done cooking. And uh, that's what we have, guys. So this chicken is just about ready. I was gonna actually make another dish tonight with this, guys, but I decided just to do the mixed vegetables because it has the corn, has carrots, and it has the green beans and green peas. So I got four different vegetable groups all at once. Then I have the main course, which is the meat, and of course, bread. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this chicken out of here before we end the vlog. Um, it's not the prettiest like when I had my deep fryer, but um, it's very, very eatable. Um, again, so we're going to start taking these out. You always want to make sure that you shake off the excess grease. And even in doing that, you want to make sure that when you shake that excess grease off, you still have a paper towel and the container that you're going to put the meat in. That way, any excess grease, it will continue to absorb that extra oil. So you're not consuming all that oil. We all know that oil is full of fatty fats and you definitely don't want to be consuming all that oil like that because that oil actually will sit on your stomach. I'm going to turn this so I can talk to you guys while I'm doing this. So you don't want all that oil on your stomach to sit there and absorb and you have to a lot of people don't, a lot of people eat, but they don't exercise right after. Who feels like exercising after you eat a full two or three course meal? I know I don't. So with that being said, a lot of us like to sit down and watch television after we get done um, eating. And the last thing you want to do is on top of having all that food on your stomach, you definitely don't want to have all that extra oil on your stomach. Um, and that would not be a good thing. Okay, I have the chicken out of the grease, so I will turn it back. Let you guys just see one more time what it looks like after it's done. Uh, so there we go. That's the single man's meal. 
what Damien Cryer will be eating tonight. Someone asked me to do a cooking vlog. I wasn't 100% prepared to do one, but uh, because I was asked to do another one, I went ahead and did it. Actually, I, there was a Q&A recently, and somebody asked me when was, when was I gonna do a, another cooking vlog, and my reply to that person was, I'll make it happen tomorrow. So there it is, guys, mixed vegetables. Oh yeah, and chicken drumsticks. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Whoa, whoa, zoom, 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 zoom. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that cooking vlog. I don't know which cooking vlog that is, four or five, but it doesn't even matter. I hope you guys enjoyed the cooking vlog with Damien. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, I think I have. Ooh, I have a big pack of pork chops in the freezer. Tomorrow, I will try, and the reason why I say try, because my hours at work can change. I can go from working 10 hours today and to working 12 hours today. You know, this is that time of year, holiday season, so trying to get all the extras. Um, but tomorrow, I will try to make cooking pork chops with Damien with asparagus or something different happened well until next time guys i love you guys i'm damian crier you have a wonderful and blessed night treat each everyone with respect respect yourself guys i'm always saying that respect yourself guys stay prayed up until next time peace mm, that looks so so good